Vivi. Hello, Luke. I just wanted to say that I miss you guys. I super heap a lot much. And I, um, yeah, just been thinking about you guys a lot and hope that you're doing really well and everything. Um, I'm just responding to your Facebook post because I haven't been on Facebook in ages, literally weeks. So, um, I guess I'm going to share with you my experience of seeing you guys on Facebook because, I don't know, I just I want to do that for this video because I'm a super dork. Okay, here we go. Vivi, I saw you tagged me in this post and I do like it a lot. You tagged me in it a while ago. Sorry, I'm responding to it now. It is about Christ and I dig it. I very much agree. Scrolling, scrolling, I am so very far behind scrolling. Okay, so it turns out that I'm about a month behind, so I'm just going to react to the things that brought a big reaction out of me. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's about to get wibbly wobbly. <laughs> See, I've been watching Doctor Who. I get this. <laughs> Aww. I really need to remember this story just in case I ever need it. Please look out for other girls. Okay, so I really love the message about nice guys, but the icing on the cake was definitely her comment to this guy below. So good. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so cool. I definitely have a little bit of um, the Proud Family nostalgia going on. Oh man, I could go on forever about this whole anti-trans bathroom law thing, but uh, that's probably better for another time. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. This is so great. I love it. <laughs> so I actually drink tea now so I can totally relate to this on an emotional level. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, your hair is so fluffy. Look at you. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, baby. <laughs> Just, I, just, I want to put my hand through your hair and go <laughs> I have done yoga, I have actually done some of these moves and number 13 is definitely my favorite. Aww. Look at the tiny little things. <laughs> tiny little hummingbirds in their little nest. They're so small. Look at her hand compared to them. This be life goals here. She looks amazing. She is amazing. <laughs> this makes me actually want to post more selfies and I don't normally like posting selfies. Yes, 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 yes. This is a very powerful message and really speaks volumes to how, I don't even know how to describe it, how we see things one way and if we put it another way that, oh, she's taking photos for her, then it's suddenly like, oh, you're so vain. Like, it's just the polar opposite. And it's just crazy how that is. This was a really interesting article which speaks about things that I've known before about feminist culture, about owning your body and how we are kind of trained to not react to situations, certain situations about our body. Um, it also points out some things, obviously, about women of color, black women, who have different challenges that white women would probably not face. And it is very interesting, and I love learning about these things because it makes me conscious of these sorts of things I hope I would never do to make someone accidentally uncomfortable. So, Vivi, by the way, um, about that comment about wanting to ruffle your hair, I would ask for permission first if I ever wanted to do that because I know that would be very rude and I wouldn't want you to do the same thing to me because I'm like, I just did my hair. Please don't like fluffle your hand, did it? <laughs> I've heard about um, the black Hermione uh, casting and the fan art and everything and I am a big supporter of it. I definitely love the idea of Hermione being black and I don't see any reason at all why she couldn't be. And I think people who say that she must be white are very close-minded and a little bit foolish. Mm-hmm, yeah, so the friend zone again. Ah, uh, uh, just 
does my head in. I get why people say it's a thing and they argue for the friend zone, but at the same time, it's such a social construct based around entitlement. It's this whole idea that she owes you something, but she doesn't owe you anything. Nothing. She doesn't owe you relationships. She doesn't owe you time. You're just upset because you expected something out of all this good behavior or whatever or being nice and that's not you don't hand out like nice dollars and then you get booty that's not how it works